Uh, now we state the result that a win or non integral is independent of path. Uh, we have already have uh, our, our example that is the line integral f d r has the same has the same uh, has the same value uh, along different curves. The line integral is f equals mm, two. Where it is is two x y i plus x square j. The L one F D R the path as the path from zero to one from the region to origin to the one one from the different paths this is uh, x equals y square and uh, y equals x square and the third path is first uh, all on the x axis then x equals one This is L1, this L2, this is L3. So L1 equals L2 F dot dr equals L3 F dot dr. The result is 1. From this, uh, from this example, we, uh, we have a question that when <coughs> the line integral is independent of path, we only state the result. So first, uh, what is independent of path? Yes, independent that means for any two uh, curve L1 and L and L2 uh, start and uh, uh, which which have same start and end point <laughs> the line integral l1 f dr equals L2 FDR. That's the definition of line integrals uh, that is independent of path. <coughs> we state the <coughs> the theorem. The following statements. are equivalent the first is the line integral f dot dr is independent of path on some region D. 
the second uh, that is f equals gradient of f on d. That so uh, that is independent of path. That means f is conservative. Or if f conservative, then the line integral is independent of path. The third one uh, is for any closed for any closed uh, curve, the the line integral is zero. This is easier to understand at from A to B. This is L1. Uh, that is L2. So L1 equals L2, the integral. So L1 f dot dr minus the L2 f dot dr equals zero. <laughs> and uh, that means L1 f dot dr plus the negative L2, the reverse direction. But L1 and negative L2 is a closed, is a closed uh, curve that equals zero. L1 equals uh, L, L equals L1 minus L2. So it's independent of our path. Uh, we got the we got this one. Of course, we from the last one. Uh, this is one, two, three, and three can to be two. Uh, independent of path f dot dr equals zero. We only prove uh, we only prove this uh, in plain curve. That means use Green's theorem. Use Green's theorem. F dot dr equals the domain partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy equals zero. That means partial q partial x equals partial p partial y. <laughs> so, uh, so f equals gradient f. Of course, we need to uh, the D is simply connected, and F is continuing, and F has uh, continuous uh, first derivative. That is for conservative uh, conservative vector field vector field, and uh, the second change to one by that is by fundamental theorem. By the fundamental theorem for line integrals. Because it only depends on the because it only depends on the start point and end point. The line f, the line integral f dot dr, is just f b minus f a for 
any curve start from this chi, uh, from for start from A and end to B have the same value. So it's depend it's independent of path. So actually, if we know that the if we know that the, the vector field is conservative, then we can use then it's independent of path. And then we can use the fundamental theorem for, for line integrals to evaluate the line integrals. Uh, sometimes we can use uh, the independent path to evaluate uh, use some uh, special path. But but actually, if we uh, if we have a vector field. We have to check if it's independent of path, and we need to check if for plane curve, we need to check this one. So if we check this, uh, this is zero, uh, check this uh, equation. If this equation uh, is satisfied, then we can use the fundamental theorem for line integrals to evaluate the line integral. So there's nothing new to uh, to study here. We only have to, the statement. We only need to know the statement. There's nothing new to, uh, there's, no, uh, there's no new method to, have, to, to use here to evaluate line growth.